Will you please welcome Sir Tom Jones? <laughs> So yes. lovely to have you back here. Thank you so much for joining us again. My pleasure. Uh, listen, it's hot here tonight, isn't it? It is. is hot. Whoa, 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 it is hot. Yeah, you know what? You're wearing like a thick tweedy jacket, though, man. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. I'm wearing a lighter jacket. Is I'm that what sweating. it is? I'm sweating. Uh, Tom, I can't believe it. You would not think to look at him. Who look? Let's face it. Look, a magnificent example of a man. Uh, just to, can we say you're just the recent birthday? Yeah. 70, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> wow. Incredible. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. Uh, did you get any nice presents? Did you get what you hoped for? What did, what did someone buy Tom Jones when he turned 70? Uh, my son and my daughter-in-law bought me a watch. Wow, that's a not, it's not a very expensive looking one, well, but it, it looks it's pretty good. Uh, it <laughs> and, 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 it, and it turns around the seat. Wow, the, look at you that! Got, you got it's... the LA time and you got the... Oh, that's time. fantastic. What a lovely gift. See that? That's a lovely gift. What page in the catalogue was that on? Was it... Oh, uh, that's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a fabulous thing. But, man, you look great for 70. Thank you. Uh, and you've got, the, you've got the suntan going on as well. Do you yeah. sunbathe still? Do you get outside or do you use, you know... Psss? No, 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 I get outside. You get outside. That's mm. the way a man got to do it. Um, I'm loving your new album. I'm loving Tom's new album. Over the years, I've been a Tom Jones fan since I was a kid. Uh, I remember when I heard uh, It's Not Unusual, it was like a kind of lightning bolt. And then What's New Pussycat and that kind of thing. And then you, then you were doing kind of more show tune stuff, and I loved that as well. Then you came back and you were modernised, you did Kiss, and you did all that modern sounding beady stuff. And now this, this is a whole new thing. Uh, it's called Praise and Blame. What's the thinking behind this? It's, uh, would it be fair to say it's going back to your roots? Yeah, well, it's, it's a gospel album. So I used to sing those uh, songs in chapel. How old were you then? When, when did you first start singing in chapel? Uh, well, five or six, wow. something like that. And then, um, your but voice must have sounded a little different then, I imagine. Though, it was it? a little yeah. different, yeah, but it, I, I, I never sounded like a... A little boy? A boy soprano or anything, When did no. your voice get really deep then? How old? Uh, it was always pretty deep, I think. <laughs> but not that deep. Not as deep as, as it is now. But this is, you see, you only get that in Wales. Little five-year-old boys running like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Right. Yeah, they breed and tough down there. Yeah. Um, so you've gone back to, and were these, uh, some of these songs, were the actual songs you sang about there, or it's just kind of uh, in style and in, and in kind of like the, uh, the genre is, is like your old stuff? Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's not uh, exactly what I would sing in chapel, because you couldn't, you couldn't sing them like I'm singing on, on this album. Yeah. You know, so, uh, but it's the same flavour. Well, they sound right coming from a man who's been in show business for a while, a man who's lived. You know, and I guess that's part of the appeal, is it? That you can really yeah. cut loose, you can give, put some of your personality in some of where you are today? And, and yeah, I think so. You know, there's certain songs that uh, I think I sound better singing them now than I did 20 years ago or 30 yeah. years ago. But it must be uh, nice not just to be doing kind of the poppier stuff, I, because I don't know about you, but the Elvis gospel albums, I think, had some of the best singing he ever did on them. Yeah. And I think this is true of this as well. You can really, uh, you, when you listen to it, you can really hear it's yeah. you, it's your sort of spirit coming through. Right, exactly. So that's... Um, Good. When, <laughs> no, when I, <laughs> Elvis used to love to sing uh, late at night, you know, in, in Vegas, after we do the shows, we would go to his suite and we would sing gospel songs. And he was... Um, there he is, look, there, look at that. There's a, there's a, I thought that was a picture of you and me together when we first met them. <laughs> uh, Elvis is the colour of, a, of a, oh, yeah. a leather couch I used to have. Yeah, I like a brown man. Right darker, there. darker yeah, than yeah. Um, so you used to you used to sit together and sing together. Yeah. So he was uh, he didn't realise that we sang gospel songs in Wales because I knew a lot of the songs that we were. Yeah. Because his idea because he was you know obviously he was in the south that he was born and brought up. What did he think of the UK? What do you think of Wales? What was his idea of what Wales? Well, was he was like? asking me about it. What uh, what was it like? And do people sing like I sing in Wales? And I said, well, they have big voices, but uh, it's more traditional. The, the singing is more uh, traditional there. Uh, did, did he ever talk about whether, why, why he never came here, why he performed here? I guess that was Colonel Tom's thinking. But did he ever express an interest in coming to sing for his fans in the UK? Yeah, he wanted to. And he was asking me what, it, what I thought it would be like for him to come here. And I said, you're Elvis Presley, for God's sake. I mean, uh, you know, they'd, they'd love you to come to Britain. And he said, well, if I come there, will you, will you show me around? And I said, well, I, 
I don't think I'll have to, but I will if, you, if you'd like. <laughs> uh, but you guys, you, you, you always struck me as being uh, similar performers in some way, you know, very masculine on stage, mm. very kind of earthy and powerful. And also, the outfits you wore, you both went through similar phases where you had uh, more 60s outfits, then you both went into the leather period as well, and yep. you got more showy. Did you go shopping together? Did you buy clothes together? No, but we used, we used to get stuff from this place in, in Los Angeles called North Beach Leather. They used to make this leather stuff and, and uh, it was it was great stuff oh, there's a sh there's a shot of you there look uh, tom what was that outfit there that's uh, that must be oh well that's uh, no, from the swimming pool that must be you in wales uh no it was in uh waybridge waybridge when, when i had a house in waybridge but you put the dragon the welsh dragon in the pool exactly just to get the welsh dragon ring, yeah. ring, ring, you weren't ring. heckling jimmy carl earlier this year were you you weren't the one that dragon no, no, I'm glad. I heard it then. Um, back in the old days of showbiz, you know, when someone was a big star like Tom, they didn't just do um, uh, musical concerts and appearances, they also sometimes did TV shows and movies and that kind of thing. And I know you've been in a few different things. Some of your TV shows were remarkable back there, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, really. And by today's standards, I don't know, do you, have you watched any of them back? Do you ever watch any of them back? Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, I, I thought the sound was great in, in a lot of the, the well, shows. Well, some of them, the American ones, you know, you'd have Tom uh, duetting with just about all the biggest stars of the period. I mean, mm. really remarkable stuff. We've got, you know, uh, Dusty Springfield, Little Richard, Jerry Lee Lewis, all these guys back then. Yeah. Um, but uh, there's one in particular. There you are with uh, Little Richard. Look at that. That's, um, there's two men yeah. not ashamed to wear a baggy shirt. Look at that. That's, uh, <laughs> Um, and you did the singing and the dancing, the phenomenal dancing. But uh, there's one show that we found, it was called Happiness Island. Do you remember filming this? Yep. Actually, I got this, uh, we found this in the archives. I got it out. I think I've watched it about four times, uh, back to back, because there are certain scenes where you can't believe your eyes. Do you remember the filming of it? Yeah. I bet it was fun, wasn't it? It was. Did you have, us, we did it. Did you have any clothes with you, or did you just have the swimming trunks? Uh. <laughs> because they, they essentially, you appear to be just wearing, and not just any trunks, they were skimpy trunks. You were yeah, yeah, they were. There's not a lot of coverage going Speedos, on. Speedos, I think they were. Uh, and, and let's face it, there's, there's a lot of you, and not a lot of them. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, Tom? Uh, yeah, I know I mean, exactly I what you're saying. Get, we wouldn't get away with this kind of thing on TV now. You don't think so? Not for a whole show, no. It's not the whole show. It more or less it is. No, it was one song. You're kidding me. No, no. What about the bit on the boat when you go off, bay girls? What about that? Yeah, well, it's the same, it's the same song. Well, though. it's a long song. <laughs> well, it was a long one, yeah. Maybe the pants have just stuck on my mind. Well... <laughs> Are you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? <laughs> and finally, are you ready for this? <laughs> Tom Downs on Happiness Island. <laughs> Discuss. Tom, you're the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Let's all calm down for a minute. It was a long time relax. ago, though. Let's just enjoy that moment. OK. Those were, they must have been great fun to make those shows. I know yeah. that was a one-off. But you made a lot of the big specials, didn't you? With the yeah. singing, the dance, everything in. Yeah, yeah. Wow, happy days on TV. Um, we're going to see you perform now. This is uh, not uh, one of those. This is from the new album. It's a fabulous new album. Congratulations. You must be uh, proud of it. Yeah, I yeah. love it. It's out on the 26th of July. If you see Tom at any of the festivals over the summer, there's going to be a few of them. You'll see some of this material perform live. But we're going to have a taste of it right now. Which track are we doing this evening? This is called Burning Hell. It's a John Lee Hooker song. Burning Hell. The great John Lee Hooker. Mm. You must have wanted to do this material for a while, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've always, you know, I've always done the songs, but I've never recorded them yeah. on an album like this before. Uh, Tom, it's such a pleasure to have you again. Thank you so much Thank you. for joining us. Uh, you know how much I love you and your work. It's a treat for me. Ladies and gentlemen, who doesn't love Sir Tom Jones? Tom Jones, ladies and gentlemen. Okay.